There are two main groups of corals, the soft and the hard corals. One of the main differences between the two is that soft coral polyps have eight tentacles, with small side branches, creating a feather-like appearance. The hard coral polyps, on the other hand, have six, or multiples of six, unbranched tentacles. Soft corals are not actually that soft. They have sharp needle-like spicules throughout their tissues, which form their skeleton and help to protect them from predators. However, these spicules leave little trace in the architecture of the reef, whereas the hard corals are a different story. Hard coral polyps secrete a cup of calcium carbonate or limestone. These numerous little cups are the building blocks of the reef. The vast majority of hard corals live in colonies. The shape that a colony takes is partly dependent on its genetic makeup, but is also a result of the environmental conditions. Coral colonies adapt their shapes to wave energy, light intensity, water turbidity, and other factors in order to maximise their chances of success. So one individual could grow up to look like this in one place or like this in another. On seaward slopes where great ocean swells buffet the reef, they usually become compact and robust to withstand the power of the surge. In contrast, the calm waters of the reef lagoon give corals the freedom to form intricate and delicate shapes. There are some hard coral species that live alone. This mushroom coral is a solitary, free-living coral, consisting of just one polyp living inside its limestone cup.